So I'm in from New York, where we launched it. Uh, we launched uh, Girl Develop It about three years ago. So I'm just going to kind of give you a little insight into how when we were initially launching the first program in New York, we, we used lean startup methodologies before we knew that they were lean startup methodologies. Um, that was really just because my co-founder and I are engineers, and we were tired of people talking about the underrepresentation of women in technology, and we were like, let's teach some women to go. <laughs> like, we think we can solve this by bringing more women directly into technology. It's really brilliant. <laughs> um, and so we now have a San Francisco chapter, so any of you who are thinking, um, who are still thinking that, you know, learning to code is for other people, it's for you, and you're all welcome at those classes, please check them out on Twitter, they're G-D-I-S-F. Um, so I just wanted to tell a quick story about, um, so <laughs> I think a lot of people think of Lean Startup and you think that it's this theory and that you still need to come up with your perfect solution and that people think of MVP as the small version of your perfect solution. And that's not true. So our first girl development class in New York City was on HTML and CSS, which are front-end programming languages basically to affect the look and feel of a website. And we didn't even have any slides. We just like showed up and we're like, what's up ladies, you wanna to learn to code? <laughs> we're gonna say some things. Um, and we learned, you know, and we, and so it was kind of like my co-founder just kind of saying some things. And then I was like watching everyone's faces, you know, get outside the building. I was like, when are we losing them? What do they actually wanna know? You know, and just asking them, you know, like grueling questions afterward and really figuring out, um, you know, measuring what matters. Because I think one of the confusing parts or maybe like less obvious parts of Girl Develop It is that it seems like we're hearing the, you know, like we're teaching people how to code because there's a lack of technologists, but what we're really doing is help, helping people feel included in an entire ecosystem, an entire industry that they're largely left out of, unintentionally for the most part. And so when you're solving something like, you know, when people say, can social impact be measured, you think, how do you measure inclusion? How do you measure if you felt comfortable interacting with technology? Um, and the answer is that you ask. You ask, <laughs> and you keep asking, and you and you focus on measuring what matters. And so, um, one of the ways that that's impacted girl development is now that we're an international organization with 16 chapters. We've taught over 4,000 people to code, and we have a community. <laughs> um, we have a community of over 20,000 people now. But what's most important about that is that we've figured out that our job is to provide a judgment-free environment for, for people to get familiar with coding. We're not manufacturing coders. We're, we're manufacturing comfort with technology. And that's how we're gonna impact, you know, any, we're not saying that like you have to be a coder, but we're saying like this shouldn't be alien to you. This isn't something that's not an option for you. It is an option, and if you choose not to take it, then that's fine, but it's not because, you know, it wasn't possible for you to learn to code. And that applies to everyone. That's not women focused. Absolutely everyone should be able to use technology, you know, to change the world. I hope all of you are <laughs> with Lean Impact. Um, and so just focusing on measuring what matters and focusing on how people felt about the class, that's one of those things where you think like there's no right answer, but you really, we learned so much just from reading simple Google Forms, or I'm talking about like surveying methodologies, I'm like free Google Forms, for real. <laughs> like, that was all like launched on Meetup, we're still on Meetup at this point, it's 16 chapters deep. Um, and the other story I just want to tell really quickly, because it's easy now that we're like three years in to look at girl development and be like, oh, that was a perfect methodology and it just worked the whole time. We also failed super fast um, in a lot of ways. And we sort of had this theory since we were creating this, this social movement that brought more people into technology. A lot of people want to start companies in technology. And so we were like, well, now that we have this audience of women, mostly, who are interested in technology, we're gonna teach them how to talk to investors and we're gonna do it on a Saturday. And New York City, <laughs> this is a nice idea, but New York City was like, nope. <laughs> We're not showing up on Saturday, and we trust you to teach us how to code, but we do not trust you to teach us how to find investors. And we were like, fair, we bootstrapped a nonprofit. It's a little bit different. Um, and so just being willing to listen to our customers, you know, I mean, the, I think of it as, I don't know if it's one of these like little adages, but it, obviously that's really key to the lean startup methodology, which is doing customer development, knowing whose problem you're solving. And when they said, hey, this is really what we want from you, we were like, all right. <laughs> so we just, you know, focused on certain coding classes, all beginner friendly, but we, so we did have that quick failure where we were like, oh, we have this audience, this is totally what they want. 
but it, it wasn't, you know, like if, if we had tried to be everything to everyone, we wouldn't have grown to be this like really welcoming beginner organization, beginner friendly organization that we are now. And so I would just encourage you, especially as you're working on social impact causes, don't worry about saving the entire world. <laughs> you, know, you, have, you have to save a piece of the world at a time and do it well and grow and scale and empower other people to save the world in the same way or in similar ways in order to be successful. Um, and I think that's something that as idealists it's easy for us to get away from. Um, so I just wanted to show those quick stories. Uh, please check out Girl Develop at San Francisco. Uh, the local chapter leaders, Liz and Pamela, are outstanding and they have a lot of great knowledge and I hope you can learn a lot about technology from them. <laughs>